Is reformulation possible? Unequivocally, it's, it's not only realistic, it's a requirement today. In home care and personal care, there are literally thousands of companies out there today that are formulating uh, with an eye to human health, with an eye to transparency and responsibility. The good news is that this isn't that challenging. However, the change uh, that it's going to take to take the leaders in the industry, the big players, to move them, that's the hard work. And so really it fundamentally boils down to not a question of can we, uh, because we can, it's a question of will we. We saw some leadership occur in the industry recently with Johnson & Johnson and their announcement to reformulate and to live up to their credo. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the number one thing in J&J's credo is about the care for human health and well-being. Well, they said, you know what, we've been living out of balance for too long, especially when it comes to babies. So we're going to do something about it. So I'm encouraged uh, by the large step that they've taken and the will that they've exhibited. And the question now is, will others follow? Mm -hmm. Consumer demand really spoke to them because it has an impact, as, as you said, John, their, their mandate for health. Yeah. Is, it's really hard to reconcile that when there's a carcinogen in your baby shampoo. It's slower than it needs to be, and the investment that huge companies like J&J &J hopefully will continue to make is into the green chemistry that they need to have, the way to formulate products, the way to think about the design and the structure and the disposal of these ingredients, these products in a way that are healthy for the environment.